Boys, we have to take a break from bounty hunting. We can't just keep bounty hunting for every single video. Listen, I know I'm sweaty and I don't touch grass, but that's not important right now. What is important is I'm going to be clapping every boss's cheeks using elemental fruits in today's video. Surprisingly enough, all the elemental fruits are actually pretty decent, except for a small couple. One of the worst elemental fruits is actually the first one we start with, so we could actually get it out of the way. And that fruit is actually the smoke fruit. So let's go ahead and equip the first elemental fruit and see how much damage it does to the first boss. So we got wrecked way here. Let's go ahead and hit him with our smoke slam and see how much damage it... Okay, it one-shots him, but that's not good enough. We gotta see the other abilities. We need a boss that can survive the one-shot. What about our boy Bobby here? Does he survive the smoke blast? And he does not. Why are we one-shotting every single boss? Okay, I'll show it one more time just to show off the last ability. And then we gotta move on to the next elemental fruit because I really don't want to use this caca fruit. All we gotta do is slap Rectway in this furry suit using the smoke liberation ability. And that actually one-shots him, but all it does is just spin him around in a little smoke tornado. Not very impressive, but at least we get to move on to the next elemental fruit. The next fruit is actually the flame fruit, so let's go ahead and equip that and shoot this guy with our blue fire bullets. And that one-shots him as well. I'm not surprised because I do have the flame fruit awakened. We still gotta show off the other abilities, though. Now that we're at prison, we got the prominent burst, which is the X ability. And that just sets him on fire. Oh my gosh, he is getting absolutely melted. He's at half health, so he has a flaming vortex ability, which does a fire tornado and burns him to death. Oh my gosh. And since we're here, we might as well clap the chief ward with our hell core ability, which I think is a giant fiery ball. And if you hold it, it gets really big and deals a lot of damage. He went flying super far, so I'm just going to finish him off there. But now I think it's time to switch to the next elemental fruit known as ice. Although I don't think he's going to survive a full combo. Let's go ahead and hit him with the cold storm real quick. Then the glacial surge. And yeah, he is not surviving. But that is fine because we are back at monkey land and we still have the ice bird ability to test out on him. And oh my gosh, this deals a lot of damage. Bro couldn't even fight back. At least I get to run to the next boss in style though. <laughs> We haven't used the V ultimate ability, and like I said, I didn't awaken these fruits for nothing, so let's go ahead and just clap him. We got that ability, and he is absolutely getting comboed here. Done. We're about to switch to our next fruit, and that is actually the sand fruit. So let's go ahead and equip it real quick, and that's actually kind of weird. We're using sand underwater, but that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and smack him with our desert blade, and what the heck? It disappeared. It didn't even work. Let's try this again. Desert blade. Bruh, this game hates me. Maybe I could lure him outside? Come on, Fishman Lord, I gotta use my desert blade on you. There we go, this is a lot better, and oh my gosh, he is about to get one shot. He disappeared, he went back in. Where you going, bro? Take my sand coffin balls. Now he better die to that. There we go, he died because my balls were too overpowered. Now this should be a lot easier. We could go ahead and use our desert blade on this guy, hit him with our balls as well. And we get to use the Sandstorm ability. Our ultimate is on cooldown right now, but that's not that important. What is important is this one shot right here. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you, Thunder God. Let's go ahead and use our V ultimate ability, which does crazy damage. 5.1k damage, and he disappeared. Oh, he's right over here. Now we got the Sandstorm ability, and we could easily combo him. Time to die, Thunder God. My guy actually survived that? Okay, it doesn't matter. I might as well kill Cyborg with the sand fruit as well because I'm going to be switching seas and I might as well switch seas and fruits in the second sea. Cyborg should die in about one more smack. Time to die, Cyborg. There we go. And now that we're here, we get to switch fruits and go to the dark fruit. But I noticed a lot of these elemental fruits are all pretty much awakened fruits, but there is a difference between them. You can't awaken the smoke fruit, and that was still part of the elemental fruits. We just gotta go ahead and hit him with a dimensional slash and another abyssal darkness, and he should be dead, and he somehow canceled it. Doesn't matter, I'm about to juke him out with this little flash step, and then go ahead and hit him with that. My guy didn't even see it coming. Now we got Jeremy over here, who hasn't even met my endless hole ability. So let's go ahead and use our abyssal darkness on him, and try our endless hole. Oh, that just holds him down and keeps him there. Let's try this little combo on him real quick. I wonder if this works. If I can god human him, send him flying, bring him back, then dimensional slash him, bring him back on me, and oh my gosh, he canceled it. But that was pretty good. Maybe dark would be a really crazy PvP fruit for me. I kind of want to try that again. Sorry, Jeremy, you gotta go flying, bro. I just gotta pull him over here and then slash him. 
There we go. Now we get to use the ultimate ability on Fajita. We don't really have to hold back on him. We charge it. I think it might deal more damage. I'm not 100% sure, but he's getting sucked back into the black hole. This is actually really cool because you can do some good combos with this fruit. Let me try that one more time. God human, send him flying. Bring him back. Send him flying again. Abyssal darkness him. Ow, he canceled it. That would have been so clean. But oh well. He got his health bar completely deleted that fast just by one combo. If that was a normal player, to be honest, I don't think they would survive that. For such a low level fruit, it's not bad. It's really overpowered. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and just finish him off with the ultimate. Dawn Swan is back for revenge, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be switching to the light fruit. And I do have this awaken, of course, every fruit in the game awaken. Let's go ahead and try to clap him real quick and see if we can make it pretty clean. Let me go ahead and use this divine arrow on him. And I think the hand of emperor melts him pretty low. Oh my gosh, he's using the awakened string fruit on me. He's about one shot away from dying. I just gotta dodge that because that hurts. Let's hold up the divine arrow and he is dead. Now, Mr. Smoke Admiral here gives me PTSD and flashbacks because he blinds you every second he can. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to clap him as fast as I can before he blinds me because I'm gonna be screaming if he blinds me. Where are you? There you go. That does a good amount of damage. 4.2k damage for that is a lot more than I expected, but he's gonna get absolutely melted here. Charge up my divine arrow. And he dodged it? What? Doesn't matter because he's getting clapped anyways. There we go. Bro thinks he's so different posted up there. Bro, get off of your throne up there. Come here and face me like a real man. Let me go ahead and combo him real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and try out the V ability. I haven't tried the ultimate ability out on him yet. And oh my gosh, that damage. 6.1k damage is insane. Oh gosh, he stunned me. Doesn't matter though. Handle my light awakening, bozo. He is no match for my elemental fruit, even though he's using an elemental fruit too. I'm just gonna bonk him. There we go. Now we gotta clap the last boss of the second C. I didn't even notice, but I got two of the rare keys that you get from killing the Ice Admiral. Too bad I don't have any use for them. But let's just get right into clapping him. How much damage can I deal to him in a super fast paced time? 10,000 damage and we're still comboing him and it's still going up in damage. That's pretty good. We almost did 20,000 damage with the full ability set. If you land a full combo with light on somebody, they're guaranteed dead. My guy called out his sea beast and I hate fighting his sea beast. I'm going to get double teamed right now, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to clap him even if it's the last thing I do. Sea beast chill. He is one shot away from dying, so just hurry up and die. You know what? I'll let the V ability finish him off and do all the work. Or not, I guess I'll have to bonk him too. There we go. Now that we're in the sweatiest third C of them all, we gotta go ahead and change our fruit from light to elemental magma. Let's go ahead and use our magma shower on him and see how much damage that does. Oh my gosh, these all deal so much damage. 15,000 from two abilities? Okay, these last two abilities should finish him off. Magma shower, now volcanic assault. Why do they keep surviving with 1 HP? Die already! I wonder, how much damage can we do if we just full combo the Island Empress now? Let's go ahead and use our C ability, our V ability, Z ability, and then even our X ability. 36,000 damage per second? Oh my gosh, we got her down to 75% HP with just the full combo. She's a pretty tanky boss. She has a lot of HP. Let's go ahead and use our X ability again. And wow, I was not expecting this much damage. I know it's the strongest fruit in the game, but it is still hard to believe. Look at that damage tick going crazy. I don't know what happened, but she is now stuck behind her own castle. Doesn't matter because she is getting absolutely destroyed either way, whether it's from the front or from the back. Go ahead and hit her with Magma Shower, and she got absolutely deleted, and I couldn't even tell. But now we say goodbye to Magma, and now we open the shop and switch to the next elemental known as Rumble. Rumble is pretty solid. I do like Rumble Fruit. Let's go ahead and use our Lightning Dragon Beast. Let's go ahead and use our X ability, and even Sky Judge then. She is so close to dying, but this took a lot longer than I expected. She deserves to get hit with the balls. Time to die, Kilo Admiral, before I die. There we go. Mr. Elephant also gets a taste of my rumble ability, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with that Sky Judgment, Thunderstorm, that, and try to combo him. Even though I don't really know how to combo with that- Oh my gosh, I missed so embarrassingly. Nobody saw anything. But you could take my balls, Mr. Captain Elephant. Go ahead and enjoy that. Then we can hit him with the thunderstorm again and just repeat it until he dies. It's gonna take a while. He should be dead any second now. I'm trying to learn some combos with the rumble fruit, but I am not built like that just yet. I do know it's a really strong fruit though. 
He's one shot away from dying, but so am I. I just gotta make sure I land these abilities. Let me try to get away from him and use the thunderstorm ability. Bro, please just die already. Maybe this will finish him off. There we go. He just got absolutely smited. Unfortunately, now we have to say goodbye to the rumble fruit and pull out our next elemental known as blizzard, which is also one of the fruits that surprisingly doesn't have an awakening. If blizzard somehow gets an update for an awakening, it would be the most overpowered fruit in the game. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm predicting the future. But I don't think that's happening. Let's just go ahead and clap the beautiful pirate using our Z ability, our snowflake shuriken. And then we got our whiteout ability, which is just like a little tiny tornado. Howling wind isn't too crazy either. It just kind of stuns him. But our best ability is going to be the V ability when we activate that. After some long fighting, he is finally extremely low. It took forever. Oh my gosh, he might one shot me here. This is not good. If he kills me here, I'm crying. I might have to bust out God human to finish him off. It's too risky. I can't risk it. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at my HP. I was at 2,000. We barely survived the beautiful pirate using Blizzard, but Longma should be a lot easier, aka Mr. Ligma. I am gonna start fighting him at half HP, so wish me luck. I think I'm gonna start it off by using the V ability in this case. And I gotta stun him in this V ability because if I don't stun him, he will hurt me badly. But it's looking pretty good. We're dealing a lot of damage to him, surprisingly, super fast. We need our V ability to come up super, super fast right now because if it doesn't, we're so done now. Okay, he is starting to hurt. We have our V ability back up. It's off of cooldown. Now we gotta use our God Human combo on him again. Send him flying. The shurikens and the blizzard should take care of him. We got the C ability, which is more than enough to stun him. And when he gets unstunned, we just stun him again with the X ability. Where did he go? He's right over here, and he got assassinated. Last but not least, we have Mrs. Thickums back there, and we gotta switch fruits for her. The last elemental fruit in all of Block's fruits as of this video is the dough fruit. Rectway's not even here, so he doesn't even know I'm about to dole over the K-Queen, aka Sugar Mama, but that doesn't matter because she's gonna get absolutely comboed. If I could even tell what's going on in this small room, let's go ahead and use our Pastry River ability, then our Missile Jab to send her flying all the way back there. We juke her ability, we could use the Dough Fist, then we could combo her as well, even though I already messed it up. She is super low finally. All we have to do is just land the perfect combo on her and she'll get absolutely destroyed. And I keep missing the combos because of this small tiny room. All right, I'm just gonna finish her off with the dough fruit because that's the best way to do it. Let me go ahead and use the V ability and she got absolutely destroyed. And hey, we got the dough fruit to mastery 500 at least. But that was me clapping every boss with the elemental fruit. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.